All right, Jenna, so this is number seven. This question is uh, much like the other ones. They want you to uh, see if there's any correlation between the percentage of the population not covered by health insurance in, in states in 1997. That's what that purple number is right there. It's 97. And 2006. So the first question uh, says, which variable should be the independent variable? Now, the independent variable is the one you base information off of. So if you say, I'm taller than him or I'm shorter than her, uh, the person that you're basing it off of, their height would be the independent variable because you can't say anything comparative about yourself without something to compare it to. Now, if you're talking, they say that she's taller than me and they're talking about you, your height would be the independent variable. So it's what you base your comparison off of. Usually in this kind of data, we're going to pick the date that's older so we can see if things have gotten better as we move forward in time or worse. So I'm going to say with pretty much confidence that in 1997, or the independent variable is the 1997 percentage. Because I'm going to say in 2006, the number of people that didn't have health insurance was smaller or greater than it was in 97. So since I'm basing it off 97, that makes it the independent, or yeah, the independent variable. Now, the next thing wants me to make a scatter plot. So the best fit in scatter plot section. So I'm going to come out here, make a scatter plot. Uh, my 1997 data is going to go on the bottom, and my 2006 data is going to go on top. 1997 data moves somewhere between around. Um, 10 or so and then all the way up to about 17 so I'm gonna do 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 uh, for my 2006 data I'm gonna do the same scale because it's pretty similar 10 12 14 16 18 and 20. So from here, I'm going to make a dot at 17.7 and 15.4. So just make a general uh, area. So somewhere in here, that'll be my first dot. My second dot will be at 12.4 and 14. So somewhere like right in here. And then 10.5 and 11.6. So somewhere in here. 19.5 in Montana becomes 17.1. So somewhere like in this general vicinity and then uh, 17.5 and 14 so like right in here so that's kind of what the scatter plot looks like it's not the best scatter plot ever but it looks okay now I need to find a, the line of best fit so I'm gonna go to the calculator to do that go into the stat menu edit uh, fill up your columns you may have noticed this little dark spot here. It's because I actually typed it in wrong the last time I was filming this. So I'm filming it for the second time. So I made sure all my points were typed in correctly. So don't do what I did. Uh, don't put 1.6 as opposed to 11.6 or something silly. Make sure they're matched up. Go to the stat menu. Go to calc. Go down to linear regression because we're making a line of best fit. Hit enter. So you go down to calculate and hit enter. And you get a line of best fit of y equals 0 0.59-ish plus 4.99. So that's my line of best fit. So you can see there's some bit of positive correlation. So as the years go on, the percentage of health insurance is getting a little bit better let's say. Now, they want me to do use that in part C, they want me to use that information to create a prediction. So essentially they give me the X value of 15.5%, which was the percentage of uninsured people in uh, Wyoming in 1997. So I'm going to use the line of best fit as a tool. And what I'm going to do with it is plug in that 15.5%. I'm going to convert it from a percent to just a regular number. And it should give me the Wyoming 2006 percentage based off of uh, the data that we've already been given. So I just plug it in 0.59 because it's 0.59, 15.5, close that, plus 4.99, hit enter, and I get a value of about 14.13, something like that, so 14.14. That's my predicted percentage. Now, they say that the actual percentage was uh, 
my predicted percentage was 14.1, but the actual, and I wrote this wrong, was 14.6%. And they want to know, um, is the line of fit accurate? So we can say that, um, yeah, the correlation is, is pretty good between 14.14 and 1.6. Is it accurate? Yes. The predicted value was close to the actual value. So our uh, uh, line of best fit means that based on at least Wyoming, the data tends to show a trend that can hold on as things move forward.